right. So thanks everybody for showing up. Um, and let's talk about Bel Air episode five. Before I do, what's up, One Journey? How you doing? Uh, Desiree, what's up? Good to have you back. Um, you've been coming back lately and it's good to see you again. Got your pretty picture up there and everything. Samara, how you doing as well? Nice picture. Um, glad to have you as well. And I appreciate y'all for coming through as always. Um, now, um, I hope everybody checked out Bel Air, um, on the Peacock Network because it is definitely, uh, one of those shows that is an unexpected surprise hit right now. Um, it's very good. It's doing good. I enjoy it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been, a, uh, like I say, a surprise hit. What's up, Karen? I'm glad you're back. Karen, you, you definitely um, always got my back, and you are awesome. And I appreciate you um, for, you know, supporting and checking out um, me while I was over there with Brillo, shout out to Brillo, um, I was just over there on his channel, it was good talking with him, and, uh, you know, if y'all haven't already, check out Brillo channel, the link is in the description box, and, uh, you know, definitely good to see you, and, uh, appreciate it, Karen, and, uh, Desiree, oh, it's okay, glad, glad to see you, um, you know, like I say, good picture. Got the little beautiful hair showing and everything as well. So, Samara, you say Bel Air is uh, your favorite show right now. Yeah, um, it's definitely one of my favorite shows that's on right now. And right now, we are in a lucky time because of what happened with COVID. It's a big backlog of shows all coming out right now at the same time. And so... We have so many options to watch and choose from right now. So many movies, TV shows, all fighting for your attention. And it's a lot of good work out there. Bel Air is one of those surprise hits. They have done an excellent job rebranding the show. It's right now five episodes in the can. And this fifth episode was very good. It's very... Uh, touching on how they have reversed the script so carlton is no longer that kind of you know lovable you know nerd that could be a jerk um but was have comedic properties he is the straight villain of this show carlton is a villain he's on drugs sniffing that sugar supreme uh xanax whatever it is he's sniffing he's sniffing big time and he is extremely jealous of will and in episode four he told will to stay away from lisa or he would let everybody know his real reason of being out in bel-air so will agreed which i don't know why he should have just said man say what you want to say i don't care but he's young and so he agreed and so we see in this episode that he's been giving Lisa the cold shoulder. Now, um, we see that her mom has passed away due to cancer. And her mother was a sorority sister to Carlton's mother, Aunt Viv. And so they're having, a, you know, a type of fundraiser at, at the house at Bel Air for her. And we see that while there, Lisa's there and, you know, Will been giving her the cold shoulder. Carlton's trying to kiss, kiss booty, uh, trying to get back into good graces with Lisa. And we see that all the things that he's doing is still not working because she got her eye on Will. Will the thrill. You see what I'm saying? Um, we also see Ashley is about to make her move on a girl so they have made ashley banks a lesbian and she likes this young lady but then we later find out that that girl is not even gay she's not a lesbian and she's actually got a crush on will 
and Ashley was so hurt that she eventually got them kicked out the house, which she shouldn't have reacted that way. She should have tried to do a little bit more investigating to find out if that girl was interested in women as well before trying to pursue her. It seemed like the little young boy, Carlton Jr., um, liked Ashley, but she wasn't feeling him. And Ashley liked her, but she's not feeling Ashley. And then she's liking Will, but Will ain't liking her. So they all confused. Don't nobody know who they like and why or whatever. So, um, you know, um, they all young trying to figure it out and uh we'll see but that was kind of interesting to see them navigate through that also jeffrey is a g jeffrey is on it boy he like a damn uh the damn secret service uh up in there boy um i already think jeffrey had somebody killed um jeffrey don't play man so uh it's definitely different vibe from jeffrey uh the butler and the black damn and white you know uh tuxedo uh, that that really didn't do much but glorified housekeeper. Um, what's up, Gina? Sweet brown sugar, what's up, what's up? Happy Friday, girl. Um, no Limit Warrior, I just peeped JP Anthony. He be over here in the sneaker community with us over on DJ Dale's channel. Okay, that's what's up. Um... So, yeah, um, it definitely is interesting. Um, you definitely should check it out, Desiree. I mean, it's a lot going on. Um, and then we see in this last episode that the husband of the sorority sister, Lisa's mom, and Aunt Viv's sorority sister, has moved on with another woman and actually married her and now she's pregnant and she's a white woman and like less than a year and during this episode we find out that they were kind of seeing each other before the sorority sister had died Aunt Viv got triggered in a way got upset like oh what so you up here at this golf game with this man while his wife lay dying of cancer. Like, wait a minute. And it seemed that everywhere she went, she kind of made it about her. And Lisa even felt that she was trying to erase her mom's legacy and her mom's impact on everything she did, which was kind of triggering to Lisa. We later saw <clears throat> that Aunt Viv went off on her and I'm kind of got mixed feelings about that. Ladies, you all let me know. We talked about this in Discord and I got, you know, a different perspective after talking with the ladies in Discord. Um, so um, they said that they would have done the same thing a lot of the ladies in discord and they understood it at first my original thoughts was that she laid into that woman and she probably shouldn't have done that at that moment and maybe took her to the side or told her or something um but instead of making such a scene um because it kind of you know undermined what they were doing in a way um so all of you that watched it let me know should she and i mean aunt viv had laid into the new wife the way she did at that moment or should she have done it differently put a one uh in the comments if she should have a one v for aunt viv and put a two v um if she should have done it in a different way um so one journey saying the side chick needed to be silent i get that but now she's the main chick the one woman is dead it's nothing that you can do to rectify that they were cheating and it's not your business technically because you're not married to that man the woman is dead 
It's nothing that can be done about it. They didn't kill her. And yeah, they were wrong, but how can you rectify and right that wrong? Um, and so now she's pregnant with that man's baby and they're married. So I don't know um, what we could have did on that one. Um, but, uh, you know, one journey says she is not just a white woman, but a Karen married to Ken. <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny um it is uh interesting that he is like what the chief of police or something to that effect and uh we later learn that he is now going to be running against uncle phil so i don't know um gina got the one v steve got a two v Ray, you say, do you think Will going to tell Lisa about Angie cheating with her dad while her mom was on her way out? I think that he shouldn't. I think that that's not his place. It's nothing that she can do to rectify it. Lisa already doesn't like the woman. What else could you do? What, Lisa not like her even more? I mean, she already doesn't like her. Um, if anything, that would make her not like her father too. Um, so I don't know. Key, I'm with you. I think maybe Viv should have checked the dad because he was the one that was married to her and owed the respect to her. If I'm married to a woman and I cheat on that woman, my wife should come at me, not the other woman, because I'm the one that did my wife wrong. I'm the one that broke the vows. I'm the one that hurt her, not the other woman. You know, same with men. If your wife is married to you and sleeps with someone else, you come at her, not the other man. So, Samara said 2V. Steve say he loving the show. Karen said 2V. That's what's up, Karen. I love that smile. One journey, 1V. Yeah, she was persistent. Still side chick. <laughs> uh, key, Angela was wrong, but when she talked about the golf tournament, I think that was the dude fault, not her. Exactly. I think so, too. And, uh, yeah, that was wrong. Gina says, it's Viv House. She spoke to her already and told her no. Then she went behind her back and asked him like he's supposed to override her at her house. That's true. That was, that was kind of, uh, you know, a little extra. So, yeah, I get that. One journey said, Will should say nothing. Lisa will only get more pain. I agree. Um, Desiree said, exactly. I don't know why the other party gets attacked in, uh, you know, cheating situations. I agree. Um, I'm going to come at my wife. Um, now, if they come and start doing extra and bold stuff, then you, you asking for some heat. But if that's not the case, I ain't going to come at you like that. Ray say, Will might tell her so it can help Uncle Phil win the election. Once she knows the truth, she will help bury the dad's campaign. Well, that's messed up in a way because he's not telling her because he actually cares. He's telling her to help win the election, which then is shady. Um, now, if you throw shady reasons into it, then I guess anything is off the table. Diana or Dina Crawford says, I think Viv is going to tell Phil and he will use it against him in the political race. That's the same as what Ray said, which may be the case. And I guess in the politics, anything is off the table. I just hope Phil backyard is, you know, spick and span um, because you don't want that to have any blowback on you if he knows about anything that you may have done. Also, what's up with Pretty Eye Mike? Pretty Eye Michael Ely. He Ely. He been pressing hard on Aunt Viv and them paintings, ain't he? And 
Phil came in talking about, nah, man, you can go on and do guest stuff. You a guest. Go do guest stuff. Get up out of here, boy. And then he the one put 20000 on her painting. Not realizing he just put her in his arms. So, I don't know. Um, but, uh, you know, that would be interesting if Michael Ely was somehow able to get on Viv to maybe start cheating on Uncle Phil. That would be deep. Now, at this moment, I don't think she's really that interested in him. She was a little upset that he was in her little gallery looking at all that stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, I think that he may end up winning her over. Look into my eyes, Vivian. Vivian, look into my eyes. <laughs> So who knows, man? Michael Ely, man, with them little pretty eyes might might end up wooing her. And uh I think Phil, you know, realized that there was competition on the field. And so he was ready to play ball. He told him, Go get your ass out of here and go do guest stuff. <laughs> so that was pretty good. And uh I like this episode. Um and uh I give it a rating. Let's see. Um I like this. Ray said, yeah, but Fred might get info from Lisa about Will. So who knows? Rojas knows. <laughs> Hashtag Rojas knows. I like that. That's what's up. All right. What up, Brillo? Coming on in. What's good? What's good? Um, We got Sonia Negron in the building. Hello, my son, Ray. God bless you as well. Thanks for coming in. Um, so um, let's give this rating for this episode. So if I was to rate this first episode with my Mosco scoring system, uh, so it does have uh, great visuals and cinematography, the locations, the set, the camera, they don't use the same type of camera like a sitcom. It looks like almost like a movie, a real TV show. And the visual cinematography, all top notch. I'm going to give it a 25 for that. Um, storyline and plot. The storyline for this episode is very good. It got a lot of twists and turns in it for this episode um, with Carlton and his drug use, uh, his jealousy with Lisa. Um, Will and the social media bashing from his boy in Philly. We see also that he's torn between trying not to have the cat come out the bag with Carlton and, and as well as he likes Lisa and, you know, Aunt Viv and, and you know, the, the woman that's, you know, took her best friend's place and all of this stuff with Michael Ely. So overall, I would give this episode a 20. And uh, also, uh, let's see, um, for special effects and makeup, um, as well as costumes, um, it really doesn't have a lot of special effects or makeup in this show, but uh, they do have a lot of costume, wardrobe, Hillary, um, she was looking good at the end. She put on a little sexy, sexy thing for her little, uh, you know, um, social media stuff or whatever. So, um, with all of that said, I would give this episode, uh, a 15 for costumes and special effects. Entertainment fun factor. I think this was a very entertaining episode and I enjoyed it and I would give it a 20 which would give it a total score of an 80, or you could say an 8 out of 10, okay? Which is a very good rating. Um, so I would definitely give it an 8 out of 10. Um, what's up, Brillo? Great. Appreciate you for the super chat, man. Thanks for coming through. I appreciate you, man. And, uh, you know, I got a little video or something for you. Uh, so here we go right here. Let's check it out. Oh. 
<laughs> Chopping heads off, man. That's what's up. Walking Dead style. Um, so I appreciate it. Um, Big Ron say Hillary was looking amazing in that dress. You ain't lying. Uh, she was killing them. So uh, definitely uh, like how she did the little wardrobe. It wasn't no malfunction. It was a wardrobe function. <laughs> and uh, she definitely was doing one. So, you know, that's what's up. Guillermo Rojas, amigo. What's up? What's up? Checking in on Twitch. I appreciate you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Um, so, um, yeah, so I definitely uh, like that. I give it an 80 or an 8 out of 10 and uh, definitely recommend uh, that episode, and I definitely recommend the show. All right. Um, hold on, let me see. What is it? All right. Switching up to a couple news stories, right quick. Um, so Kanye West has been in the news lately because of him and Kim, Kim Kardashian's divorce. And a lot of people um, have been on his side about the matter because he's been kind of bashing and uh, publicly kind of shaming her and Pete Davidson, who she's dating, calling him Skeet. And Keith Davidson, not Keith, Pete Davidson, the comedian from Saturday Night Live, as well as the movie the king of Staten Island is younger than her and has been dating older women on the record for a while. And now it seems that Kanye is starting to be a bad influence maybe for other men who think it's okay to maybe digitally stalk or harass their ex and, you know, social media. Montana Max coming through with the super chat, man. I appreciate it. Uh, definitely. Um, got a little something, man, for spreading the love. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Um, so 617 said Pete's doing good. Yeah. Uh, they definitely did split, and he is not taking it very well. Um, now, put a 1K if you think that he's doing what he's been doing is okay. Put a 2K if you think he's been doing too much. Um, it says hours after she was declared legally single, meaning the divorce is over with, with the hear Wednesday hearing pertaining to her divorce um, from Ye, the rapper formerly known as Kanye, um, he released a controversial music video which shows him killing Kardashian's beau, Pete Davidson. The video is just the latest example of his concerning online behavior, which has devolved in recent weeks, with West himself even acknowledging he at times may have come across as harassing Kim. Though some fans have decried West's recent posts, Others are still overlooking and even defending his problematic behavior. Okay. Um, so the divorce is official. He's not handling it very well. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens with this in the future. That's Pete Davidson. He probably feels this dude is not on his level and shouldn't be with her. Um, he said, I think it's ridiculous to say that this is in any way threatening to Pete. It's just another example of his hyperbolic artistic expression, which he's been doing for decades now. It's about the end of his marriage. It says that, uh, you know, Ye's disturbing new music video shows him kidnapping, burying Pete Davidson alive. It's true that fans have seen similar behavior from Wes before. If you think back to his depiction of a new Taylor Swift in his 2016 video for Famous, for example, 
but experts say it's critical we don't dismiss his recent social media attacks on Kardashian and Davidson, particularly because doing so sends the wrong message to those who have experienced harassment or abuse in their relationships. Many survivors that I speak to are not only triggered by Kanye West's behavior, but also by those who are making light of his disturbing outbursts, says Tina Swithin. Uh, it says, with someone like Kanye, it is terrifying because not only does he have millions of followers, he doesn't seem to have a filter. Some survivors agreed with the sentiment on social media and pointed out the dangerous implications of the video. As a survivor of domestic violence, I can no longer just sit back and be quiet. It is an art. It is disturbing, scary, and wrong, one user tweeted. Another advised survivors to log off for the social media for today to avoid the chatter surrounding the easy music video. Okay, so is Kanye getting a free pass? Swithin says some fans may excuse this behavior simply because he is Kanye West. And, uh, you know, it says his latest jab at Davidson also comes at the same time as his Netflix documentary, which has prompted many fans to appreciate and reminisce about the rapper's talent. The veiled threat should be taken seriously, Swithin says. The world of celebrity comes with stalkers and crazed fans. He's got them. She's got them. And when he posts these types of videos inciting violence against a person, there's a likelihood of him having a fan who does want to hurt Pete. In addition to his celebrity status, some may be turning a blind eye out of consideration for his mental health. In the past, he, had, he and Kardashian have been vocal about his bipolar disorder, though it's unclear how or if the rapper's mental health issues factor into this recent behavior. Um, his documentary Genius is actually very good. I've seen, I haven't seen it all. I got to catch up on that, but it is very good. Um, Swithin says it's possible to show empathy while also holding people accountable. All right, so let's get down to it. You all put the 1K or the 2K in there, and uh, let's see what happens. Shout out to D. Weave. Thanks for the super chat, man. I definitely appreciate it. All the, the super chat and support is definitely appreciated. Here go a video for you, my brother. Check it out. Jesus Christ. Who's your friend? Oh, do you find me sexy? Oh, look at my titty. Oh, wow. Uh. <laughs> that always make me laugh. Anyway, Key said he doing too much. 2K, 2K for Samara. Gina, 2K. Crafty, 2K. Desiree, 2K. Uh, Blatant Truth, 2K. Ill Woods, 2K. Uh, hold on. Uh, let's see, Big Ron, 2K, Karen, 2K, uh, Dina says, Pete said he didn't care. Well, I guess he trying not to make a big deal of it, and if he said he did care, maybe Kanye would feel like he's winning, so he has to say he doesn't care, so Kanye feels like he is not working. Whatever he's doing and make Kanye maybe feel bad because he's the one on the outside. He's trying to piss Pete off and make Pete leave. Man, it ain't even worth being with you, man. Your husband driving me crazy. I'm going I'm to catch you later. He'd be a fool to leave and because of that, but, you know, maybe that's what Kanye is trying to do. Pam Tucker said, 2K, nobody thinks Kanye is doing okay on this channel. Um, One Journey says, she is single. He wants his ex-wife back. She may come back for 80% and give him 20%. Inappropriate, Mr. West. 
Karen said he hasn't been right since his mama died. And I agree with you 100%, Karen. He definitely has not been right since his mama died. And if you see, at the very least, that first episode of his documentary on Netflix, his mama was his everything in his life. And with her gone and him becoming such a huge star and not being able to share that with her, I'm sure it's devastating for him. His father is still alive, but he probably doesn't have, you know, well, we know he doesn't have that same type of relationship with his father. And he probably feels like, yeah, of course you want to come around now that I'm so successful, but um, I don't know. Um, we'll see. Um, all right. Um Nina Boo Sexy, you say you hear you can't get in the Bel Air. It ain't catching you. Okay. I mean, hey, every show ain't for everybody. Um, I actually didn't think Bel Air was going to catch me either. And I was very surprised that it did. Um, that first episode was very good. So I'm surprised you didn't like it. But to each his own. That first episode got me interested. Um, London to Dolly got the 2K. So nobody thinks Kanye is not doing too much. <laughs> the Weave with the 2K. One Journey 2K inappropriate. You say he is certified simp. What did he expect marrying a woman with high mileage? Ha <laughs> ha, D Weave. That is true. Uh, he should have picked a better person to be his wife than uh, someone that has had so many public uh, relationships that have not done well and uh, also have so many kids with her and so many he just I don't know man he I don't like to say that a person is a bad person because they relationships are public but at the same time I don't know, man. Uh, now he's starting to see the negative consequences of it. Um, we saw what happened with Lamar Odom and all the other guys from Reggie Bush and different things. And I just think that, uh, you know, that he should have chose wisely. Um, I guess he thought he did, but I don't know if he did or not. Um, Francisco put the 2k in i ain't seen you in a while francisco so you know it's good to see you back savannah you say jay if you lay with them you better stay with them yeah that's true i mean i think he wanted to stay with them but i don't know we don't know what was behind closed doors but i'm sure he's kind of difficult to be around too and i've known somebody with bipolar and that can wear on you as well, especially if he's not taking his medication. You happy, you sad, you happy, you sad, and all this stuff going up and down, uh, you know, to a person that's living with that person and not suffering from that disease. It seems as if they happy and sad all the time for no apparent reason. Nothing has happened to make them go this way. And I'm sure it wore her, it wore her down. He should have took his medication if he wasn't. If he was and it still wasn't working, he should have gotten adjustments. Um, but I don't think too many people can tell him what to do in his circle of people right now, which is why his mom is another reason she was so influential because she could have told him, take your meds, take your meds, baby. Go and take, go see the Dr. Kanye. So you never know. Say it's cheaper to keep her. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, we'll see. Um, definitely. All right. Let me see. I got another story right quick to talk about. And then uh, we can get to, uh, you know... Where is this other thing? Did it come up? 
Alright, here it is. Oh, damn, it didn't. Hold on. Okay, here it is. So, the game just recently came out and said that Kanye West has done more for his career than Dr. J. Dr. J. <laughs> Dr. Dre. <laughs> How many of you all think Kanye West has done more for the game's career than Dr. Dre? Remember, Dr. Dre produced his first album, brought him out on the scene. 50 Cent is now getting into this with, of course, some clapbacks. 50 Cent already fell out with the game years ago, and now with the game saying this, 50 Cent had something to say. If you think that Dr. Dre didn't do as much for the game's career as Kanye put a 1G if you think that Dr. Dre did more for the game than Kanye put a 1 I mean put a 2D for Dre so put a 1G for game meaning he was right or put a 2D for Dre if you think he did more for the game. All right, 50 Cent reacts to the game saying Kanye has done more for his career than Dre. Um, so it says right here, the game has fired back at 50 Cent over his tweet with the Compton rapper saying, last time you did this with me, G-Unit clothing got put in the casket with the entire group and you went into television. I like power and shit, but leave it alone. I'm back outside. So, 50 Cent said, Hun, what happened here? <laughs> and the game said, Ye did more for me in two weeks than Dre did for my entire career. Not even he did more for me. He did more for me in two weeks. All right, so 50 Cent has some questions about the game claiming Kanye West did more for him in two weeks than Dre did in his whole career. Fifth reposted the quote that the former G-Unit rapper said during his visit to Drink Champs on Thursday, seemingly confused as to why the game would say that. Um, and it says, see, I can't play this right here because it would end up, you know, getting cut anyway. But it says, uh, during the four hour long Drink Champ episode, the game discussed a wide array of topics, one being his gratitude towards Wes, who he has been working with lately. Okay, and it says that uh, it's crazy that Ye did more for me in the last two weeks than Dre did for me my whole career. Dre executive produced the game's debut album, the documentary, which, of course, is the game's best album he ever made. Um, after the young West Coast artist signed with Aftermath Entertainment in 2003, a recent clubhouse conversation with the game and WAC 100 also saw the latter say game helped write 50 Cent smash hit. What up, gangster? Fifth is yet to respond, but his longtime collaborator, Shy Money, said the claims were all lies. And the other 50 news, the mogul might be making his exit from stars. The power architect voices frustration with the network last week on Instagram, and he doubled down on it Friday, saying the people there are just difficult. Um, he says, I was just saying it to it's time to go. The job's not that hard. The people are just difficult. Okay? And so, you know, it says right here, um, 50 sparked a bidding war earlier. Uh, it's not playing no more. All right. Earlier this week after he trashed Stars, which airs all his shows. So, um, we'll see how that all works out but he did make a funny post on instagram about it and uh i'll show that post um but he said i was just saying it's time to go the job's not that hard the people are just difficult um 
And uh, he said he signed a four-year overall deal with Stars in 2018, estimated to be worth as much as $150 million. All right. So what do you all think? Do you think that 50 Cent should leave Stars? Do you think that, uh, you know, 50 Cent is overreacting? What do you all think? Um, because, I mean, it says he sparks the bidding war. Um, we'll see. I mean, his shows are the most popular shows on stars. And, I mean, it really made the network what it is. And for them to not renew power book four force but at the same time uh re renew shows like high town and other shows <clears throat> which they're good shows but they're not as popular and they don't do the numbers that power book four has done something isn't right <clears throat> 50 said when i read this all i could think was shake my head she hate these people 50 Cent rips dumb shit stars, threatens to exit overall deal. 50 Cent, you know, I think has a good point with some of the stuff that he's been saying and doing. And I'm going to show you guys. Uh, where is it at? This is all on Twitter. I was just checking to see if he has it on Twitter. Uh, this zero is going to be pretty good, too. Uh, he's about to start bringing the comic, black comic hero, uh, into the screen. So it looked like 50 Cent got a lot of good ideas and things coming back, um, coming out. And, uh, I don't know. Um, I think they definitely making, uh, a big mistake. Uh, you know, he got a picture of Michael Jordan Palmin. Palm and Mary J. Ball basketball booty right here. You see, she ain't move his hand out the way, though. He <laughs> said, give me some of that. Anyway, uh, I'll get the little clip that he shared on uh, on Instagram. Um, so let's see. Uh, Key said, Dre, L. Woods, 2D. Gina said, game talking out the side of his neck. Uh, let's see. D Weave, 2D. Uh, Desiree, you say you can't deny Kanye contributions to music. Kanye is talented and a genius, so 1G. Yeah, but in two weeks, he's done more for the game than Dr. Dre. We ain't even heard his album yet. Big Ron 2D, Gina 2D, Francisco say a goat recognizes another goat, 1G, London 2D, um, okay, so we'll see what's up, um, but, uh, yeah. You say, are there any drawings tonight? No, there's no drawings tonight. Uh, but I will have some things. I'm going to do uh, some things Saturday or rather Sunday morning and Sunday evening uh, with some uh, merchandise and other stuff. So we'll see how it goes. A lot of people wasn't participating, uh, you know, this past month like I would have hoped. So. We'll see. And I think some people only come around just to try to win. So I'm going to change it up. We'll see a little bit. Maybe some days I may do cash. Some days it may be merch. We'll see how it goes. Um, players for keep. Jay Moore is 50 Cent going to leave stars. I think so. I think so. I think uh, with the difficulty and everything that he's saying, if he still owns those shows and those properties, I think that uh, it will be diff difficult for him to stay. 
because he could take those properties to Netflix or HBO or somewhere else, and they would be happy to have those hit shows. And Stars doesn't have the audience that HBO and Netflix has, actually. Um, nobody was even talking about Stars until he brought those shows on there. So I think a lot of people would cancel Stars if those shows left. And by having these shows spaced out the way they do is making Stars so much money because now people are not canceling. You take all of those shows off of Stars, I think a lot of people will cancel. Stars should be kissing his booty straight up. So, you know, um, at this point, I think he can get the same amount of money, if not more, at any network. And so it's all about being happy with who you're working with. And I don't think that he appreciates how they treat, you know, him and his, and his you know, shows. And uh, like he say... I think he'd be better off leaving and going somewhere else who would be appreciative. So Desiree says she would definitely cancel stars. How many of you all would cancel stars if 50 left and took his shows to another network? So all the shows, Power, BMF, all of that was gone. How many would cancel stars? Put a 1S if you would cancel stars. Put a 2S if you would still keep stars. I'm interested to see um, who would cancel it. Savannah say, as long as P-Valley is there. So P-Valley only going to be on for two months. You would keep the show. You would keep stars for the other 10 months to keep P-Valley every two months. Or would you cancel and then renew? Players for keep said they cancel. Nisha would cancel. Ray said he canceled for show. Hen Dog, Illwood, Stephanie, Dina, Durant, Pamela. Gina said she'll keep it. That girl. Savannah said, nah, I wouldn't keep it the whole year. <laughs> canceled. So only Gina and Savannah would keep it. And Savannah won't even keep it the whole year. Encouraging Warriors said, I will cancel stars so fast. J stars would be seeing stars. <laughs> right. And I think that they don't understand that they are messing with a large part of their fan base. You say you cancel and bootleg P Valley. <laughs> One as everybody say cancel pretty much. I had stars before 50 shows and I'll still keep it. Karen Jones. I had stars before as well, but it was not, I don't know if I would have kept it this long. It was new, and I just got, I think, some type of promotion or something on my cable, and I don't know if I would have kept it as long. <clears throat> it wasn't that long it was out without power, though. I think it was only out maybe a year or so before Power came out. It wasn't that long. And a lot of the shows like Black Sales and that stuff is not on anymore. So I don't know. Y'all left my girl Gina on the island over there. I'm sorry, Gina. I'm going to come pick you up. Then you don't have to be out there. You can, you can leave too. <laughs> Uh, Savannah, you want Rojas to have his own show? I like the way you think. Okay, <laughs> you say, yeah. Stars used to be a free add-on. I know, right? I know it was something with Stars. I didn't pay a lot if next to nothing. And, uh, I know it was something that I had with Stars that made it so, uh, I, why I had it. I know I wasn't paying $10 a month for it that I remember. I did pay for Epics, but they used to have a lot of movies at one time that weren't on HBO and Showtime. Uh, they had Hercules with The Rock and other stuff. And and uh, now they don't have as many movies, but they do have some good shows. That show called From, 
on Epics is really good. Godfather Harlem. They got Billy the Kid coming. They got a show uh, with Chewy. Uh, Chewy to Ed, Ed Jafor. Uh, the man who fell from Earth. Man who fell to Earth. Um, so they got a lot of stuff that is coming out. A lot of good shows that um, looks pretty good. So I will give epics that credit um so we'll see um players for keep say raising rojas would be a good show i would love to know his backstory it was called they do have a black star still actually so on my cable if you have cable if you have stars with your cable um I got like four four or five stars channels. They got a black stars. They got like a old school stars. They even show TV shows like good times and stuff. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but that black stars show all the black shows and different stuff. So that was that is true. Um, but yeah, that is it. Yeah, they still have it. Yeah. It's just on the TV channel. It's on your cable. It's not uh, the app. Black Stars just plays all the uh, the shows, black movies and stuff and, and things. So, yeah, it's pretty good. I like Black Stars. All right. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me get that uh, 50 Cent clip right quick. And then uh, I got some other clips that... Uh, from Instagram and then we gonna get up out of here and uh, we'll talk about you know tomorrow power and uh, you know see how it go alright this is the clip with 50 Cent and what he said about leaving stars he said this is him packing his stuff he gots to go Stars sucks. My deal is up over here. I'm out. They renewed High Town and Force is the highest rated show they have and it's sitting in limbo. If I told you how much dumb shh I deal with over here, I you would think they all went to school on a small yellow bus. Damn. 50 don't play, boy. Somebody said, so I'm going to be watching BMF on PBS. <laughs> I'm going to be watching BMF on PBS ASAP. <laughs> okay. No. But uh, look at that. Chris, Chris Perry Real Estate said they better not let the Power Series go. I'm canceling stars expeditiously if that happens. 50, the only reason why I got stars. Stop playing with him. See? A lot of people, they better act right. The power franchise is keeping them lights on. 50 don't need stars. Stars need 50. Don't let that go over your head. Yeah. Only reason we got stars, let me know so we can cancel. <laughs> stars better act like 50 revived their entire network because he did. Hey, for real, he needs to let me know so I can go ahead and cancel the annual subscription I just got. You know, and this does happen damn near every year, which is crazy. Why do they keep doing this? So it ain't just here. <laughs> A lot of people going to cancel stars. Millions, millions of people, I believe, was going to cancel stars if they end up leaving if he leaves and takes those shows with him. Um, Augustine the King say he gonna put them on revolt. Damn. That's a channel ain't nobody watching. He'll own that channel. <laughs> Dina say sounds like he's being impatient. They may just be trying to come up with a number. I mean, they should have came up with whatever the number. They should have came up with that. Like, this is your number one rated show on your network. This man has delivered for years now with the best content on your network with Power, Power Book 2, Power Book 3, BMF, and now Power Book 4. 
That's five shows. Why are you playing? You know, so, um, yeah, I agree, Samara. If he leaves, they'll be sorry, definitely. And, uh, you know, uh, Savannah say ABC realized they needed Whoopi when they suspended her in the ratings tank. Uh, stars better realize, yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's the one that spices up the view. Without her on there, I'm sure it's pretty boring and lame. I don't watch The View, <laughs> so I'm guessing. But, I mean, with her being a natural comedian, the only black woman, she's got a unique position on that show to be able to say things that the other women wouldn't say or know how to say. And uh, they would just be, you know, pretty bland, probably. So, who knows? Um... All right, this right here is this video is what I call tough love. Now, some ladies love this type of love, and I hate to say it, but as we can see in this video, some men love this type of love. I'm not the one to like this type of love. I'm a more of a gentle, affectionate person. Um, I don't want no tough love. Y'all put a one T if you like tough love. Put a two T if you don't like tough love. Here's the video of Tough Love. Y'all tell me what you think. She done smacked him. Smacked him, and now he want to grab some booty and kiss her. And then smack her back. What? He was kind of smiling, and she smacked that smile off his face. I'm good. He was smiling at first till she smacked. Blue He like, wait a minute, hold up. He like, hey, hey, hey. girl, you better give me that ass. And then he smacked her back in the middle of kissing her. What in the world? That's too much. I'm good. I'm good. Players for keeps love that tough love. <laughs> you play for keeps, literally, huh? You can smack me all you want. I ain't going nowhere, baby. <laughs> I'm good. Desiree say, hell no, nah, don't touch me like that. I'm with you. Don't be smacking me. I'm not smacking you unless it's on your ass from the back. Other than that, <laughs> I'm good. Encouraging Warriors said, no. Nah, Savannah, keep your hands to yourself, vice versa. That crack love be different. <laughs> Two T, Samara, Miss Crafty say that's manipulation. Maybe that's day four play. Yeah, that's one. That's four, five, six play. I'm up out of here. I'll pass. Stephanie say, <laughs> key, <laughs> key, busting up. But you laughing at where I say I'm about to smack you. That's the only way I'm about to smack you. And uh, and that's good enough. So Gina say, nope, smack me. They coming to pick you up and they will be carrying you out. I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. You know, you can keep that thin line between love and hate love. I know that's right. Miss Crafty say, I'll pass as well. Hey, passing like Tom Brady up in here and straight up. I'm good. I am not down for that. I don't need that crazy love. You give me love, 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 crazy love. I'm good. I don't need that crazy love in my life, man. I'd rather watch TV. <laughs> All right. This one right here is funny. Kids be thinking they so damn smart. <laughs> Say you told Harbo to beat me. <laughs> Kids think they so damn smart. This is why I always respect the five minute rule. Me at 3 a.m. on my PS4 when my mom told me not to. Kids think they slick. I remember those days. Listen to this little kid think she so damn smart when mom come in. You know you're supposed to be sleep. You up here playing the damn game. 
and look what happens. <laughs> Got him. What the hell you think you doing? Take your ass to sleep. Say so you been and got choke slam doing that. <laughs> it's so hard for to be beat. She give me love, crazy love. You like that one? <laughs> Y'all like that? <laughs> this little girl thought she was damn doing one. Hey, I, that's what I used to say. You can't, you can't play slick to a can of oil. I was born slick. That's what I am. I am slick. You ain't ready. You ain't ready. You ain't nothing but a banana peel. That 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 guy. <laughs> This girl got the bejesus scared out of her thinking she doing one. So, I don't know, man. You need to go somewhere with that. Um, Alright. This right here is funny, but it could have ended bad. And some women, I don't know. They should they should have took a second to see who he talking to, but at the same time he knew what he was doing. Ladies, y'all let me know how would you all have reacted. Let's see. He come up to these women in the grocery store and look what he says. And I ain't gonna lie, I sure like to put some icing on that cake. Well, you got up. My my girl got some cake. She got some. Look, these oh, ones. These the ones. These the ones. These the ones. Oh shit. Damn, I sure like a piece of that cake. What the f you got them cakes? These ones you got? These ones you got? These ones I want to eat. I sure like to eat them cakes. What? Don't uh, have my brother beat y'all ass. No, my, my girl, she got cakes. She got, <laughs> she got cakes, yeah. And I ain't gonna lie, I sure like to put some icing on that cake. Well, you got up. My, my girl got some cakes. She got some. Oh, these the ones? These the ones? These the ones? These the ones? Oh shit! Damn, I sure like a piece of that cake. Baby, got them cakes. These ones you got. These ones you got. These ones I want. Um, <laughs> I sure like to eat them cakes. What? Don't uh, have my brother beat your ass. No, my my girl, she got cakes. She got, she got cakes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have my and brother lie, beat sure your like ass. Some icing on that cake. You up here getting your brother in fights? He ain't got no business being in. These ones. These ones. These ones. These ones. These ones. Oh shit! Damn, I sure like a piece of that cake. What the you got me? Baby, got them cakes. These ones you got. These ones you got. These ones I want. I'm and sorry. I sure like to eat them cakes. What? Don't no. have my brother beat y'all ass. No, my my girl, she got cakes. She got, <laughs> she got cakes. Yeah. And I ain't gonna lie, I sure. <laughs> Savannah say I let people be themselves. I don't sweat things. You'd have been like, you want some of these cakes for real? <laughs> Savannah was about to cut up a slice of the cake for him. You want a big piece or a little piece, baby? <laughs> Courage and Warrior, he gonna get beat up one day doing that. <laughs> uh, he said, okay. <laughs> Man. I don't know. I think that, you know, him saying that. Is that really offensive, ladies? Put a 1-0 oh, if that's offensive. Put a 2-0 oh, if it ain't really that offensive. If he walk up and say, damn, I would like to put some icing on them cakes. Damn, I would like a piece of that cake. <laughs> Is that really offensive? Like, I don't know. Y'all let me know. Hen dog, you crazy. 
Crafty say that's offensive. Okay. <clears throat> I guess so. Nisha said that's offensive. Okay. What if it was a good looking dude that you liked? Or thought was attractive? Or a rich man like, uh, what is that, uh, what the hell is that with the rich man beat the girl in the room? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It's all up to interpretation. You know. You say it don't matter. Fifty Shades of Grey. I thought that's what the Fifty Shades of Grey was about. Women like that stuff. At least if you're rich. <laughs> Encouraging warriors say offensive because I'm a lady. In my shenane voice. <laughs> Oh no, he did. I'm a lady. You don't be coming up in here talking about you want to eat my cake. Uh uh. I know what you did. I got two cold forties. I'm drinking two cold forties. I don't got time for that. Uh uh. You ain't gonna get up in my cake. <laughs> That's offensive. All right. I guess so. I'm glad I never bro went and said that to somebody. Let me eat them cakes. No, no, I'm talking about little Debbie. Little Debbie, it was a joke. He <laughs> he. What? Wah 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 wah. <laughs> Shoot. That's crazy. Yeah, man. You got to be careful out here these days. People be quick to react. Say some things without, you know, investigating. My cakes? Boom. That's your funeral cake, bitch. Oh, you were talking to your girl? My bad. <laughs> and run off. <laughs> Savannah say, I don't care what you say as long as you keep your hands to yourself or I'll bust his eyeballs out. Oh, man. Boop. Ah! Where did you go? I still smell that cake. <laughs> smell sweet. Can I still get a piece? You gonna deny a blind man some cake? <laughs> Cartoonish. Oh, Savannah said the milkshake, my milkshake brings the boys to the yard. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, all right, y'all. I'm about to get up out of here, man. I'm glad to end on a, on a happy, fun note. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Everybody, I see y'all tomorrow night at midnight in Discord. Hopefully the technical difficulties be resolved. I've been trying to get things straightened out and uh it's been difficult. Um if not, you know, I definitely still will be live for everybody at two AM. So come on through, check it out. And uh, definitely at 10 p.m. on uh, Eastern Time. So Sunday night. Everybody, I'll check y'all out then. Everybody have a good weekend. Uh, thank you, everybody, for the super chat and the support. Um, for those that did uh, support me on PayPal as well as on Cash App, um, I definitely appreciate you. And uh, I got some some things, some new merch coming. And uh, also, um, you know, a couple of updates. I will have the damn uh, giveaway back so uh, tomorrow or so. Um, we'll see how it goes. And uh, if I don't get the merch finished, then I'll definitely be doing the cash giveaway. So we'll see. Um, so we'll do it. Um, 
Ray, you said I was going to tell you to play it here, but maybe in the Discord is better so it don't get copyright stricken. Oh, yeah, I can't play it here, man. Definitely can't play it on here. Uh, so, you know, we'll see what's up. All right, but we'll talk in the Discord. I'll catch y'all later. Uh, Ramon Rico Campos. Que paso, amigo? Ramon. Que paso, Ramon? <laughs> Checking in on Facebook. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. I see only two people gave me the thumbs up on Facebook. Definitely appreciate all y'all on Facebook. Don't forget about your boy. And uh, everybody, I'll see y'all later. Ray, he done ran, ran off the Discord battle rap competitor. Man, you done made him go into witness protection. I don't know what happened to Slim. We're going to have to call him Slim Shady. Slim Shady, I'm calling you out. You asked to get a piece of Ray, and you went into witness protection, man. Ain't nobody seen or heard from you. What happened to you, man? Slim Shady disappeared, ran. All right. Hashtag Slim Shady. Damn. Slim Shady, what's up? What's up, Ray? I appreciate you, man, for the for the support. Ramon, what's up, Rojas? You know my nose, man. <laughs> you know my nose, man. You know it, my no man. Hey, you know I do it, Ramon. Ramon, you go and you pick it up, the product, man. Okay? You pick up the product and you break it and you drop it off, man. Make sure Tommy Egan do not get the drop on you, man. Okay? You don't let her get the drop on you with the diamond. And they take it, the product. And he learning the route. You don't do the man. I I believe me this. I know that. I feel that. Okay? It's really dangerous outside there, man. Okay, Ramon? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. He Cuban. <laughs> Make y'all laugh. That's what's up. Alright, you Cuban B. Cuban B! <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm up out of here. Word, Rojas. That's right, man. You take it, the you take it, the word, and you do. You take it, the word, and you run with it, man. You you don't let it know what they were, and you get the product, and we will be successful, man. We don't let it, the Tommy Egan, the little blanquito. We don't let him come and get the best of all, man. We do this for a living, man. We do this, man. We have to survive, man. The Rojas will survive. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have a good weekend. Everybody be safe. Good night. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Everybody in Discord, I'll see y'all in a little bit. And I'm out. Peace. The J more the very best refuse. Tell them none can contest me, don't... Thank <laughs> you.